My fellow Americans, it is undeniable that this past election was stolen. To all those members of the armed forces, join with us to defend our liberty and land. Seated around this room is an incredible diversity of professional experience spanning the last five presidential administrations. Most of you have sworn under oath to defend the Constitution. What happens when those in uniform break that oath? January 6th demonstrated a possible false sense of security. The next insurrection could involve members of the active duty military turning their weapons around on the folks that they are there to protect. One of the recommendations was to war game what that might look like. I am President Hotham, Chief Executive of the United States of America. You have six hours to avert a civil war and ensure the peaceful transfer of power. Mr. President, we are going to be starting the game in three. We are here to stress test two, our national security system. One. I want them to be prepared for the worst case scenarios. I have no idea if, at the end of this exercise, this country collapses or comes together. Where would we like to send a large body of armed crazies? Capital. Capital. You are confirming that there are National Guard that have, in fact, let protesters through. I'm going to flood the zone with fake pictures, guys. It's very difficult to find out what is real and what is. And there were actual images of that. It is not compromising the proceedings of the election. The yeah, it is compromising the proceedings of the election. The entire Congress is still in a bunker. Now they're playing the game. Everybody back to the table. You can authorize lethal force. Pause for just a second. Is that correct? You could have federal? We've done it on the southwest border. He's going to have to make a decision. Put your f***ing cards on the table. The United States could be on the brink of a second You've pissed off a lot of senior-ranking folks from all five presidential administrations. It was my job. Great job. Yeah.